everyone you are most welcome again on my channel and we are going to start a history of english literature and this will be a series from the first age before chaucer to modern age and we will be doing a great discussion over lots of uh, topics in english literature as you can see i have prepared all the notes so that we will keep on going and these are more than 200 pages and we will finish up to modern age so keep in touch subscribe the channel and visit the channel at eight o'clock every day so let's start today's video so the first one is before chaucer first of all the first target is to remember all the ages and the timeline of history of English literature in brief. So let's go ahead, keep on paying attention. So let's go ahead. Before Chaucer, 450 to 1340, we know that 1340 is the birth year of Chaucer, the great, or we can say one of the greatest writer in English literature, father of English literature. Anglo Saxon period is from 450 to uh, 1050 so next one is anglo norman anglo norman period it starts from 1066 to 1340 1340 one, uh, 1340 is birth year of chaucer and 1066 is the year for norman conquest age of chaucer starts from 1340 to 1400 birth of uh, birth year of chaucer and 1400 is uh, when he dies death of chaucer to renaissance uh, so 1400 to 1516 early renaissance 1516 to 1558 and the age of shakespeare age of shakespeare is divided into these categories as well first is poetry second jacobian poetry third prose and drama so if it is asked separately or uh, if we are studying separately these things uh, we need to remember these dates uh, 1516 to 1603 poetry jacobian poetry 1603 to 1625 prose 1560 to 1625 and drama is between 1568 to 1625 Post Shakespearean drama is between 1525 to 1642. Uh, we know that in 1616, Shakespeare was, uh, he passed away. And this date is important. Uh, 16, this year, actually, 1642 is important because in the same year, all the theatres were closed by Puritans. Now let's come to the topic again here yeah. the restoration period is between 1660 to 1700 this is also called the age of dryden 1660 is important because this was the year when charles ii was ascended to throne again and that was actually the restoration of reign of charles ii that's why it is called restoration period the age of Pope, 1700 to 1750. And this is also called age of Pope. Okay, I have already mentioned here. So you can remember in this way and in this way as well. The age of Dr. Johnson, age of Johnson, 1750 to 1798. We know 1798 is the starting point of Renaissance of Wonder. Or age of Wordsworth, or we call it Romantic period as well. So Renaissance of Wonder, Wordsworth, age of Wordsworth, and Romantic period or Romanticism all are same. 1798 is considered the starting point of Renaissance of Wonder or uh, the Romantic period because in this year, lyrical ballads got published. Now the Victorian era, 1850. To 1900 and this is also called the age of Tennyson and these are actually the the greatest writers or we can say representative writers of the age the age of interrogation or the modern age 
this age is considered uh you know the starting point of the age is considered from uh, uh it is 20th century sometimes we call it after world war first and till this date so hopefully you like the video if you like the video please do support the channel and subscribe and share with your friends thank you for watching see you in next video